Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Tejo with Ben Lumber Airsoft Team, and this is my review of the WB G18C Gen 4. Um, you can get this gun from airsplat.com for about 100 bucks. It was $113 total. I used a free shipping coupon code, that's why. So, uh, not going to go over anything in the box. You know, it just comes with a manual. Uh, it comes with some extra back straps, this being the Gen 4 model, and some tools for the extra back straps, but that's it. As you can see, the orange tip ha has been removed. It's just a uh, glued on threaded orange tip. All you have to do is heat it up really with a blow dryer, or what I use an industrial heat gun. Industrial heat guns work a lot quicker, but um, I basically just he heated up the outer barrel after taking the whole gun apart, making sure the inner barrel wouldn't get all messed up and I just heated it up and unscrewed it so I don't have to use that anymore looks a little better so basically we're going to talk about the gun today uh, it does include the 25 round magazine extended mags are um, available from many places but uh, we're going to talk about mainly the gun so the gun is a very nice feeling uh, pistol it's a very comfortable pistol I'd say. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, the slide of this gun is a metal component. I'm not sure what it is, just metal. know that. It's probably a cast metal. I'm not too worried about it. It's a gunmetal gray color. Kind of different colored from the uh, slide, uh, the frame. It's ported on the top and that looks pretty cool when it uh, shoots and stuff you have your uh, sights white dot sights there they're very bright and very uh, very uh, very nice to look through you have some uh, trademarks right there just by uh, WE it's not any uh, real trademarks it says G 18C tactical 9 by 19 on the other side you have some other little trademarks including right here says made in Taiwan WE tactical um, you also have your uh, some cocking serrations so it's easier to cock back grab with hands or whatnot and you have your fire selector down is on auto up is on semi moving down you you have the the uh, frame. It's made out of a high quality ABS plastic. It has a rail on the front mounting lasers and flashlights, as well as another serial number here. You have your trigger guard and your trigger. This is a double stage trigger. It cannot be pulled, uh, it will not fire unless you pull the uh, smaller trigger inside. Trigger, as you can see right there, that little bump sticking out. Kind of there. You also have your uh, slide lock when the magazine is in. It uh, holds back and stays back in the locked position. Also, when you run out of am ammo after firing, it will lock back. To release, just push down. And it has a very nice, satisfying clack as well as the spring and it's very nice. The magazine release is right here. Uh, hop up is adjusted by taking removing the slide by taking out the magazine, cocking it back, and you have to hold down these tabs right here, cock it back and slide this uh, slide off. Then you can adjust the hop up or do whatever maintenance you want to the inside of it. Um, there's a flaw to this gun, which is the only real flaw with this. They did not, they, uh, put all the internals really beefy on this. They did a good job at making, uh, the gun's internals very beefy for the, uh, recoil and the blowback and the automatic feature. They just did not, to the money, for the price, uh, hop-up is adjusted by taking, removing the slide by taking out the magazine, cocking it back, and 
you have to hold down these tabs right here, cock it back and slide this eh, slide off. Then you can adjust the hop up or do whatever maintenance you want to the inside of it. Um, there is a flaw to this gun, which is the only real flaw with this. They did not, they uh, put all the internals really beefy on this. They did a good job at making uh, the gun's internals very beefy for the uh, recoil and the blowback and the automatic feature. They just did not, sorry about that, they just did not um, buff, beef up the uh, feeding nozzle here. So that, with too much use on auto, will a eventually break. I don't, I'm not really going to use auto because I'm kind of only have one mag for now. But once I get another one, I will not use auto whatsoever. Stay tuned for a shooting test, guys. There's going to be one on this gun. I'm going to do auto in that just one time. And uh, that's going to be practically all of it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. You can pick this up from airspot.com in the complete form, like so. It's not in two separate pieces. You can pick it up there for $100. Plus shipping and handling, and it's a very good gun, very nice gun. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Link in the description below to where you can buy it. Thanks for watching.